Hello class 8 students welcome back to the digital class of computer today we are going to start chapter 7 which is more about html learning outcomes after you have studied this lesson you will be able to use different tags in html do different changes in html a quick revision of html html is a scripting language that helps to create web pages for the internet HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language in which hypertext refers to the way in which web pages HTML documents are linked together. When you click a link in a web page, you are using a hypertext. Markup language describes how HTML works with a markup language. You simply mark up a text document with tags that tell a web browser how to structure it to display. While writing HTML, we add tags to the text in order to create the structure. These tags tell the browser how to display the text or graphics in the document. Essential HTML tags. There are four sets of HTML tags that form the basic structure needed for every HTML file. HTML opening brackets and slash HTML with closing brackets head slash head title slash title body slash body did you know html tags are the hidden keywords within a web page that define how the browser must format and display the content the html tag this tag basically defines the document as a web page it also identifies the beginning and end of the html document all other tags must be described within the HTML tags. The head tag. The head tag defines the header. The header contains information about the document that will not appear on the actual page, such as the title of the document which appears in the title bar of the web page. The title tag. The title tag defines the title of the HTML document. The title appears on the title bar of your web browser window. The title tags must be enclosed within the head tag. The body tag. The body tag contain all the information and other content which is displayed on the web page. All your images, links and plain text must go between the body tags. Basic HTML structure. HTML, then head, title. This contains the title of document. Then slash title close and slash head close. Body starts. This portion makes body of the text slash body close slash HTML close. In your previous class, you have learned about many HTML tags. Here you will learn some other ones. Did you know HTML tags are not case sensitive? That means HTML or capital HTML or complete HTML in capital or H small TML capital will do the same work. The paragraph tag. Paragraph tag P opening and slash P closing. The paragraph tag of P tag is a container element. This means P has to be typed at the starting of the paragraph and slash P at the end of the paragraph. Brain teaser. Give your answers in one word. What is the full form of HTML? Which tag starts and ends the HTML document? Which tag contains the title tag? Which tag helps to create paragraphs in a document? Name the tag that helps to start text with a new line. Syntax. P opening and then P closing slash P closing. In this example, you can see how to write a program with a paragraph tag. And here you can see the output of the above code. To change the alignment of a text in a paragraph, align attribute can be used. Align attribute can take any one of the four values that is align equals to left, align equals to center, align equals to right or align equals to justified. Syntax P align equals to label opening and then slash P closing where label can take the values left, center, right or justified. Let us understand the use of align attribute P tag with the help of the following example. In this example, you will know how to use the align tag and output is shown in this picture. The ampersand NBSP tag. 
The web browser ignores any extra spaces added to the text in the HTML document. To insert a blank space, special HTML code ampersand NBSP has to be added to the document. Let us understand the use of ampersand NBSP tag with the help of the following example. Here you can see the example and the output in this image. The break tag, BR tag. To start a new line without starting a new paragraph, the empty element break tag or brackets br is used. Like any other empty tag, this tag also does not act on a block of text. It simply breaks the text wherever it is encountered and starts the remaining text at the left margin in the next line. Here is the syntax and the example of the br tag and the output is shown in this picture. The above code displays a page in Internet Explorer as shown in the figure. You can see that whenever the tag br is encountered, the text starts at left margin in the new line. Did you know img background is equals to inverted commas path or name of the image tag helps to insert an image in the background of an HTML document. Brain teaser. How will you insert an image to the background of an HTML document? The heading tag, opening brackets, hn, slash hn, closing bracket. Text in a page is divided with the help of headings and subheadings to make it easy to understand and follow. Heading tag or hn tag is used to display headings in your web page. HTML provides six different levels of headings from one to six. Heading tag is a container element. Here is the syntax of hn tag, heading tag, where n specifies the level and can take values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Here you can see the example and the output for this program. Changing the alignment of a heading. The align attribute can be added to the hn heading tag to change the alignment of a heading within the page margins. Here you can see the syntax, heading align is equals to label, opening brackets and then slash hn closing brackets, where label can take the values left, center or right. Here you can see the example and the output below. Save the above HTML code in HTML document and open the save documents in a web browser. The result will be displayed as shown in the figure given below. The font tag font opening brackets slash font closing brackets. The font of the text can be changed by using the container element font. The font tag can make the attributes face and size. Syntax font face is equals to name semicolon size is equals to VAL where name stands for the name of the font and VAL stands for the value that the font size attribute can take place. There are there are seven value options that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 for the font size. Here you can see the example for this tag and the output is also given below in this image. The bold italics underline and strike through tags. To bold and italicize underlinings and strike through the text, the container elements b tag, i tag, u tag or strike tag are used respectively. Here you can see the example and the output given below. When the above HTML code are written and saved in the notepad and viewed in a web browser, the output is shown in the above figure. Quick recap, HTML is a scripting language used to create web pages for the internet. The HTML tag basically defines the document as web page. The title tag defines the title of the document. The paragraph tag, p tag, is a container element. To change the alignment of text in a paragraph, align attribute is used. A web browser ignores any extra spaces added to the text in the HTML document. Therefore, to add spaces, we use the ampersand nbsp tag. The heading tag or hn tag is used to display headings in your web page. The font tag can take the attributes, space and size. Moral learned. Having the knowledge to build your own website with HTML and CSS gives you the chance to stand out from the crowd with an authentic handcrafted representation of your business or any business for that matter.
Save money on every site you may want to build in the future and build better websites with HTML and CSS. Thank you class. Let's meet again in the next class.